Hello guys, it's Darius from Drone Optics here bringing you another DJI drone teardown video. This time we're taking apart the brand new DJI Mini 3 Pro. Before we start however, here's a quick unboxing of the contents. Okay, so as usual, we'll start by removing the gimbal cover, taking out the gimbal shipping protection foam and the battery. The next goes the props. Once they are off, I'll continue by removing all the visible frame screws and start carefully prying open the frame. Some things to keep in mind while doing this are that the frame is quite fragile, it's held together by a ton of tiny clips and appears to have a small amount of glue holding it together as well. By carefully working my way around, I managed to get the top off, revealing the GPS and the motherboard. After taking the screws and connectors off, we will tackle the GPS, which is attached to the heat spreader. After lifting the heat spreader, make sure to disconnect all the connectors under it and proceed to push the rubber through to release the GPS. Keep in mind here though, that the ribbon cables can be fragile and leaving the GPS dangling like I did is not the best way to do it. After taking off the newly revealed screws and connectors, the motherboard can be taken out. However, prepare for some careful struggle here as it is held in place by what appears to be some double-sided sticky tape. Once the board is out, proceed by taking out more screws and start unclipping more of the frame. A note here is that I recommend removing the top vision module later after the bottom vision and the ESC boards are out, as doing it now will cause the ribbon cable to get stuck and as I said before, they can be very fragile. Now is a great time to tackle the bottom plate, which reveals the bottom vision module. The vision module can be taken out by taking the screws out and unclipping the connector. The bracket under the module can be removed by taking off the four screws. Here I realized the mistake of taking the front vision off too soon, so I undid the screws of the ESC to loosen up the corner where the ribbon got stuck.
Next up, I'll do the camera and gimbal. The corner plastic covers have no screws and require just some patient prying. Once they are off, the connector can be pulled through and by using one of the motherboard brackets, I carefully push the rubbers out taking the gimbal off. Coming back to the ESC, make sure that all connectors are unplugged, free up the glued legs cables to get some slack and proceed by taking the board out. Once out, it can be accessed for desoldering. After it is out, all that is left are the legs for which you'll need to free up all the cables inside the frame and this part is what took the longest as all the cables are glued in numerous places making the removal quite a chore. You will need to be careful not to break the cables but also use some force as the glue holds them quite firmly. To take out the back legs, unscrew the two bolts holding the axis, push it out from the bottom side once the axis is out, the leg can be removed. For the front legs, all you need to do is undo the screws holding them in and pull them off the axis, which can be removed from the frame after further three screws holding it in place. Once legs are out, a final ribbon cable glued to the side comes out leaving an empty frame. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are after some parts or accessories, please look us up at droneoptics.repair, where we stock parts for all DJI drones as well as some Parrot and Unique drones. Thanks for watching.